Hello Aquarius, welcome back and welcome if you're new to my channel. This is your weekly um, for the week of June 2nd through June 8th. However, whenever the messages resonate is when they resonate for you. It could be past, present, or future energy, a mixture of all three. So just take it how it resonates. Don't try to force anything to fit. And also, um, when it comes to the gender of the cards, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So keep that in mind. Um, unless I say I, sp I feel a specific energy from the card, it could be male or female um, in your situation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what's going on with the planets during this week, Aquarius. And this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Mercury is in Gemini during this week. Um, Venus goes into uh, Gemini on the 8th, but right now it's still in Taurus. Um, and Mercury rules Gemini, Venus rules Taurus. Mars moves into Leo on July 1st. So uh, during this particular week, Mars will be in Leo. Um, Uranus is in Taurus Neptune is in Pisces it goes retrograde later this month June 20th um, Jupiter is retrograde in Sagittarius Saturn is retrograde in Capricorn Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn Chiron is in Aries and it retrogrades um, starting June 8th y'all by the time Neptune goes in uh, Nep Neptune goes retrograde too we'll have Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, Chiron, all retrograde at the same freaking time. It's a lot going on. Chiron is going to represent um, your deepest wounds, the seed of your spirituality, um, represents transformation and also uh, the alchemist in your life. It deals with self-realization. I think there's going to be a lot of self, deep self-realization and deep healing, um, healing old traumas or wounds childhood traumas childhood wounds um correcting behaviors um healing defense mechanisms relearning new ways um tweaking our ego um and also it's going to deal with healing and resolving issues i mentioned healing but resolving issues and i think uh well there's going to be a a need or desire to to quickly and efficiently take care of things in those departments with Chiron going retrograde so that's a good thing Pluto is about transformation as well so I think um, this is gonna be a very powerful time and I think it may not be so difficult to face ourselves in the areas of our life that we need to for whatever reason I think Chiron is gonna give us the ability to um, the spiritual ability to face ourselves and to deal with it and to not um to not be afraid to deal with it so that's what's going on with the planets this is going to be relationship spread it can apply to any relationship in your life so keep that in mind uh family work personal intimate otherwise you name it it can apply to any relationship in your life aquarius the left side will be you the right side will be a person oh okay However, it can flip-flop. Um, it could be the relationship you have with yourself. So it could be you and you on both sides. Um, so keep that in mind as well. <clears throat> Three more shuffles for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you don't know how to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter sign, um, see what that is in your natal chart. There's a link in the description box showing you how to do so. Two more, I think. I lost count. That's one. All right. <clears throat> so it's my social media website. How to book a personal reading with me. How to donate to my channel. All of that is in my description box. Overall theme of the re reading, Wheel of Fortune. Closing out a chapter. Closing out a cycle. A new cycle is coming. Deals with luck, fate. Jupiter en energy. Um, Jupiter, Sagittarius. Jupiter is retrograde and Sagittarius right now. So it could be working in your favor. You could be feeling really lucky. You could be getting really lucky. Uh-oh. You could be in some type of destined or fated situation. Um, I think it, 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 it feels good. This energy feels good. It could be a karmic situation or a new relationship. Some type of serendipity working in your life. Um, yeah, the workings of destiny. So overall theme of the reading um you could be meeting a soulmate or something like that or dealing with the soulmate 
all right we have the moon card aquarius you could be dealing with a pisces or someone who hides their emotions this this represents deep emotions this is the relationship situation there could be some secrets between you two somebody could be hiding their deep emotion that could be the secrets or there could be some other secrets um again you could be dealing with a pisces um this also represents fear around a decision um fear about making a decision or doubting whether seeing is believing like i feel like uh this situation with these two cards here i feel like it's like too good to be true and i feel like there's someone withholding their emotions keeping their emotions kind of suppresses because they're waiting they don't think the situation is as good as it actually is they're thinking it's too good to be true somebody's doubting whether seeing this situation for what it is is actually you know what it is there's some type of fear um all right your mental space involves uh-oh six of cups in reverse now it's just not necessarily a bad card in the reverse i feel like you're missing someone it's clinging on to the past you could be thinking you could be thinking about someone from your past um it could be a, an obsession of a person or an old memory or something that you're really holding on to it may be keeping you slightly restricted but you are holding on to something from your from the past this is scorpio energy you could be blaming the past or just clinging to the past how things were um previously um you instead of instead of worrying about where you're going you could be stuck on where you were um there's a need for a fresh start this also could represent someone being uh, refusing to budge or to move on like clinging to the past and just refusing to move forward or more move on this could also represent like a little bit of self-doubt feeling unable like you you're you're not able to move on doubting your ability to move on um from an old situation thinking your old situation was as good as it got um if this is a new person in your life i feel like you're thinking oh this person is too good to be true you're thinking about this old situation thinking no that was the best for me that's that's as good as it gets for me i can't top that there's no way this could be for me that's the way i'm getting at that's no way of thinking there's fear your fear you're doubting yourself you're afraid there could be a little bit of insecurity feeling like you're not worth it you don't deserve it um you're thinking about this old situation reminiscing like no this was this was it like that i can't top that that's what I, that's what I, that's what i feel from this emotionally yeah you're having <laughs> let's see okay this is pisces energy so you could very well be dealing with the pisces or have pisces in your chart or maybe like a venus pisces or something you could be like a venus pisces or something uh, venus is our love planet anyway the eight of cups here represents the this is the emotional space you could be emotionally withdrawing from something or moving on from something you could be abandoning some type of relationship, but I think mentally you're having a hard time thinking about something else. You could be emotionally withdrawn, but mentally not quite yet. Um, I'm trying to adjust my lighting. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, emotionally, I think you're withdrawn a little bit, but not quite in the mental space. Um, but I feel like the thought of this old situation is just I feel like you're just thinking that that's as good as it gets and i think you're using that as instead of trying to top it you're trying to match that instead of exceed it and um i think you should be trying to exceed it i think you're kind of just selling yourself short but this is emotionally withdrawing from something abandoning a relationship moving away from something there there could have been some type of resistance or lack of substance in this situation there was um no emotional fulfillment here um, so you're emotionally withdrawing from this situation. I think it's probably been like a process and you're still kind of going through it. Um, possibly doing some healing. Also, I do get a healing. But yeah, there's a lot of emotions invo involved with, this, with the cups here. Um, so you appear to be working towards self-improvement. You appear to be building skills towards, you know, um, yourself, like working on yourself and just, this could represent teamwork. You could be working really hard at work. You could be collaborating with other people. You could be getting mentored or have like a life coach or some type of situation like that. Or you could be learning a lot from your friends or your peers or people that you're around. Um, you could be teaching each other things, something of that nature, like a, a teaching and learning environment. And then like I teach you something and then you teach me something that type of collaboration here or you're working towards self-improvement internally this is capricorn energy so that looks pretty good 
let's see what your person's thinking about mm. this person because they could be they could be feeling thinking about um feel, uh, like a little bit of manipulation is what i get like wickedness this person is emotionally immature they they could probably be um having some unreasonable demands this person they're um how can i say this the queen is normally emotionally intelligent this person is like i think like all over the place like they don't really know what they want um they've been hurt this person could be disloyal um this person is um overly emotional i do get a masculine energy from this even though it's a queen i get a masculine energy from this i feel like it's a, it's someone who doesn't know how to process their emotions or deal with their emotions or identify their emotions properly something of that nature in that category and it comes out in other ways um they could be really manip manipulative or sneaky or just overly emotional like sensitive and like like really snappy over small things because they suppress it when it's something big like something like that that's the kind of energy that i get from this but in the mental space this person could be thinking about some manipulation that they have um taken part in or or emotional pain that they may may have caused or or suffered from <clears throat> this is cancer and gemini energy could also be Scorpio or Pisces um, we got a lot of water energy so far <clears throat> emotionally this person is having a lot of unexpected feelings coming out of nowhere um, this is disruptive to their element right now I think it's kind of probably throwing them off Scorpio energy could also be Aries energy with the tower here because um, it's that's Mars <clears throat> excuse me but this is breakdown and illumination something is being being brought to the light something is being broken down and illuminated something that was built on unstable ground has the opportunity to either be, be rebuilt or or not i mean either way um when the smoke clears and the dust settles you get to see what was wrong with the foundation and you get to correct your mistakes here this also represents um becoming humbled extreme changes disruptive change um something i think kind of like hit you like a hit you like a ton of bricks it's like a break, wrecking ball they could have had an eruption of emotions coming out of nowhere and this person could be thinking about their this realization or this epiphany that they're having with their emotions this emotional epiphany that they're having they could be thinking about how these ways have affected um have come out in their actions they could be reflecting on uh, the manipulative behavior and the overly emotional behavior that they have taken part in due to not dealing with their emotions properly this person i think is is um appearing to um this person may appear to be healing their behavior involves um i, I think initially this this person after this this tower they may be a little bit confused um excuse me distracted they could have a lot of anxiety or emotional stress um yeah for some people i feel like you're just simply you're having this tower moment and you're reflecting on this energy for some of you you're having this tower moment and it's causing this energy because you don't know how to deal with it or you're not going to deal with it in a mature way and you're going to be a lot um you're going to be behaving your person or if this is you aquarius whoever this right side is this person is going to be behaving um in a way that shows that they are dealing with some emotional stress or pain they have some wounds that they need to attempt to possibly some deep deep secrets some deep emotions some deep wounds that they've kept hidden a secret um but yeah this represents anxiety stress we have two threes here you guys are mirroring each other a little bit um this could be a soulmate connection um this also represents the expression let's see one second um 
releasing emotions in order to move on. I think this person is probably purging. Um, e either way, the emotions are coming out, and that's a good thing. Um, this person is purging, and that does allow for, you know, once you release negative emotions, you allow for uh, good emotions and, and vibrations to come in. So this person is releasing negative emotions, which is a part of healing. So there is some healing taking place here, but I think they're initially having a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress with these unexpected feelings that they're being hit with all of a sudden. Let's clarify the spread. Two shuffles. What am I doing? Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's a lack of clarity or lack of communication. Probably between you two right now. You probably are in separation with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Um, there could be a lack of clarity, lack of communication. Um, could also represent um, sudden changes in balanced mind. quarrels, fights. There could have been arguments between you two. On your mental space, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. I think you're being very stubborn. You're definitely clinging on to something in the past, and you're being very stubborn about it. I did sense that when I first pulled the Six of Cups. So it's a Scorpio energy along with the King of Pentacles, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, specifically Aries and Taurus. Oh, Aries and Taurus. <laughs> Aries and Taurus. Um, this person is, you know, jealous. You are jealous. I think if you, this person has moved on, you're jealous. You don't like who they're with. You want to be with them. You are not feeling this. Like you are stubborn. You're stuck in on this old situation on this or this old picture in your mind. Whatever this is for you, you're stuck on that. On how on how it used to be. You could be trying to get this person back, but this is someone who's who's jealous. Who's who's stubborn and um is unwilling to take risk you're unwilling to move on from this situation like even if this person is no good for you you're not willing to move on to try to um to try to find something better or to try to top it you're just unwilling to take a risk it's like nope this is where i'm stopping this is this is where i'm comfortable um but you i think you this person is you you lack trust if this is you aquarius um you're untrusting and I think that stems from some type of insecurity here there's some type of insecurity you need to address there's some type of greed here um, yeah then we have the nine of wands in the reverse with the eight of cups defensiveness this is my push through card but I think you're having a hard time pushing through with emotionally departing from this situation is what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling from this the nine of wands is Sagittarius energy, but you're tired. Um, they're definitely insecurities, obstacles. I think your insecurities are your obstacle from allowing you to move on to something better. Um, it's making me think of the uh, cancer reading because I titled it um, Sticking with the Devil, you know. It's like, nope, I'm comfortable with this. It could be like, you know, you're you're used to, you know how if you grow up in an abusive household, that's normal for you. So you that's what you look for and if you don't have that that's not normal for you so it feels weird you could be having a hard time departing from something like that something that's actually toxic for you but you don't feel like you deserve anything better and that's not great at all so you're having a hard time moving forward you're having some obstacles like i think your obstacles are your insecurities here with allowing you to emotionally depart from the situation and abandon the need to hold on to stay so stubborn stubbornly unwilling to risk trying to top this old whatever this old situation was for you um there's a need for meditation there's delays in moving forward you could be mentally exhausted i think yeah you you probably are um but you're doubting your own strength and you're doubting your ability to yeah to top this situation you could also be a little bit defensive with the knight of cups here um so maybe you are working towards some type of self-improvement. You could just be working. This could represent you in the workplace. It doesn't have to be you working towards self-improvement. Some of you are, but some of you are not. 
um i can already tell some of you um could be trying to offer love to this person could you could still be trying to work on this situation um i feel like for some of you it's an ex it's someone you're not with or you were you um re either recently broke up with or you're not you're not together with maybe haven't been with for a while and you just want to offer this person um like hey let's try to work on this you want to reach out to them and offer them some type of love some type of proposal some type of apology or some type of offer of like hey let's come together and work on this like um you want to propose working on a partnership with this person and i really feel like this is a situation you should be trying to leave you should be trying to walk away from but you're, i think you're still trying to work on it with the knight of cups this is uh water energy um Aquarius and Pisces, you could very well be dealing with the Pisces. A lot of you probably are dealing with somebody who has Pisces in their chart, or you have Pisces in your chart. But um, this represents romance and a proposal, love drawing near. I think you're trying to draw this person towards you to, for a partnership. You want to work on this together, and that's why you're trying to draw this person in. The relationship situation here, trying to take a risk. Um, somebody could be trying to take a risk and reveal their emotions or reveal these deep uh, these secrets that they've kept hidden i'm sorry these deep emotions that they've kept hidden or these uh, whatever secrets they may have somebody be maybe wanting to take a risk the fool is uranus i believe uranus rules aquarius let me see real quick i think that maybe that it's about a beginning a journey you know spontaneity optimism i think you're i think you i think you do have faith in this situation like you have faith that it's um that it's um that you can work on this with this person for some of you there may be a chance but for some of you i feel like you should not be trying to work on this at all uh let me see real quick if i'm right about this uranus Let's see, that's Neptune. Uranus, yes, rules Aquarius, absolutely. So yeah, that is your energy with the full card. I feel like you're just being yourself, being your true, curious, um, just optimistic, spontaneous self, and you're just ready to explore this. And you really have faith in this situation, um, having a chance. For some of you, like I said, it does, for some of you, you should you you should be trying to um top it your person they're thinking about <clears throat> not only this manipulation or this um inability to deal with these emotions properly um this overly emotional behavior they're, ha they're having a hard time letting go too with the hangman in reverse they're being very selfish. I think they're being emotionally selfish. Um, they can't let go. They're experiencing some, some, some type of emotional pain that's coming out in a very negative way and they're thinking about it. This person, like I said, this person is um, reflecting this tower moment they're experiencing, experiencing is causing them to reflect on these um, emotional uh, characteristics that they're displaying or they're they're just thinking about it and i think that's why this this is in their mental space they're reflecting on this behavior but i think they're having a hard time letting go too there could be some materialism or a lack of perspective when it comes to this behavior they could be feeling like there's nothing wrong in the way they act like they need to see it from someone else's point of view they could be feeling really naive or, or also clinging to the past you both are kind of clinging to the past in some way or another definitely some mirroring going on here then with the tower card we have the five of cups in reverse i believe this is yeah mars energy again so um check your mars placement five of cups here this is mars and scorpio um okay there's a new chance here. Like I said, some of you, there is a chance to rebuild in this connection, this relationship. There is a chance for a new beginning. Um, there is a chance for partnership. I feel like you both are kind of stuck on the past for some reason. But if you are going to create a future together, don't use the past as like your blueprint. Do like re rebuild. 
you can't use the same blueprint because this tower came crashing down. You got to start all over again. You know what I'm saying? You got to start fresh. You got to uh you got to draw a whole new plan. You know what I'm saying? You can't use the same blueprint cuz this tower fell. That may be um the title of the video cuz if you're going to rebuild together, uh-uh, you need new blueprints. <laughs> um but the 5 of cup reps uh, and the reverse represents building or rebuilding all relationships or family relationships, emotional wisdom. Um, like you're, you're suddenly getting hope. Um, no longer feeling like there's a loss in the, the situation. You feel like there's a new opportunity, a new chance here. Along with this healing energy, eight of pentacles, working towards something long term, patience, um, hard work, focus, dedication, as well as, um, recognition for your efforts your time your energy um building on new skills this is virgo energy um building on previous skills as well i think um if you come together you're healing you're reflecting on this situation and you come together and you are rebuild for a lot of you are rebuilding this situation absolutely you are rebuilding so um yeah absolutely a lot of you are rebuilding this situation you're healing and you're coming together you're rebuilding and you're getting you're you're getting recognition both of these represent your your efforts being recognized right this is like displaying your efforts and and getting recognition and just like teaching or mentorship or something like that and this is about money and recognition so you could be getting something tangible in exchange for your efforts or um you could be seeing some tangible effort i mean some tangible rewards from your efforts that you've put in in this situation or this uh, this relationship some of you you're using what you learn from this tower falling between you um when you to you know to move forward like like you're you're learning from your mistakes and you're using what you've learned here you're applying what you've learned to this to rebuilding i love that this is beautiful all right let's get three cards of advice three shuffles three cards of advice for aquarius sun will rising venus and jupiter one two Ten of Wands, the Sun in Reverse, the Devil in Reverse. Okay, this is your advice. The Ten of Wands. Know this is going to tell you to lighten your load, um, not to take on too many tasks. All right, lighten your load and admire the beauty surrounding you. Determination to see a situation through to the end. Make one more good pu push. I think this is both of you. I think both of you are determined to see this situation through. Absolutely. I think uh, whether you want to admit it to admit it or not, some of you may be having a hard time admitting it based on the energy that I see. But I do sense there. I sense a deep yearning for this situation to work out. I think both of you really, really want. You may be losing hope. One of you or both of you may be losing hope. But I feel like you really do want this situation to work. You just need to lighten your load so that you can um, gain perspective and also um, prioritize so that you can properly deal with it and give it the amount of time and effort and energy that it deserves. Because it's only you're only going to get out of it what you put into it. So then we have the sun in reverse. Yeah, being burnt out. You're feeling burnt out right now, currently. Um, feeling bullied. Both of you, I think you could be um, using your ego here because there's so much going on, so much transformative energy. This not this person over here is really defensive. This person over here is having a lot of unexpected disruptive changes and feelings, and they could be feeling, uh, acting a little bit emotionally mature. So I think that the ego is like in fight or flight mode right now, and you could be kind of lashing out at each other. So this, this could represent a bully to the Queen of Cups in reverse. So I think one or both of you feels bullied. If this is your person, Aquarius, this is you probably feeling bullied. Um, but don't be too serious. And it says also, are you self-sabotaging um, yourself? So keep in mind, like, like, am I putting this, am I putting myself in this situation? It could possibly just be your insecurities. Like you have to heal from your insecurities so that this situation doesn't make you, 
uh, like so you don't take something this person says or does as they heal personally because you have some healing to do too you definitely are mirroring each other a little bit here um, so keep that in mind that this person is, is trying to heal just like you're healing then we have the devil in reverse All right, engaging in manipulative behavior, lashing out at others, sabotaging another's fortune for your own gain. Yes, I think you're lashing out at, like I said, your egos are at war. The devil represents the ego. You could be dealing with the Leo, you could be dealing with the Capricorn, you could have Capricorn in your chart somewhere. It's like one of you, one of you has to put your has to put the has to put the swords down first. So you have to put the armor down, have to put your guard down um, because it's like it's like you put you put a wall up and then they top your wall and then you top their wall and it's like a never ending game you create this cycle of ego so one of you has to stop and replace it with love and you know if you don't get love in return then eventually you know it's time to emotionally withdraw and walk away but i think you both want this situation to work out so it's like if one of you just puts your armor down puts the sword down i think maybe that's what this ace of sword is about putting the sword down Someone has to be the one to put the sword down first. Once you put the sword down, you can uh, drop your armor. Stop being so manipulative and bully, bullying towards each other. And you can come to a place where you can start to um, reconcile and work on this. You can start working together and um, building something here long term. Three more shuffles. Let's get the um, likely outcome. Three cards for the likely outcome. One more shuffle. For Aquarius, someone rising Venus and Jupiter. I just saw the sun card again. All right. Oh, yes. I love it. Okay, Aquarius. Y'all going to push through. Y'all going to push through. You're going to get your happy ending. Somebody's going to take a risk, take a leap of faith, be spontaneous. This is you again, Aquarius, Uranus energy. Um, this is, again, my push through card. It's in, in the reverse over here. You're having some difficulties, um, some insecurities, some obstacles um, pushing through because of, of your insecurities. You could be emotionally withdrawn from your own insecurities. Um, realizing that you know certain things you can't change about yourself you could be learning to love yourself emotionally withdrawing from emotions negative emotions about yourself like if you've been like down talking yourself or speaking badly to yourself you could be releasing those emotions and that could be what's allowing you to get to this place where you can offer this person love and work on this situation and once you offer them love it may be the thing that sparks their healing and it inspires them to want to work on this because then we have you're offering love and then you have the three of pentacles right here and then they start healing and then we have the eight of pentacles here like that's why i said like one of you offers love and then you're going to top it so it's like just like that ego fight you're going to start doing it with love and it's going to create a cycle of reciprocity but in a more positive and higher vibration that's beautiful i'm itching i must be tapped in y'all I haven't itched like this in a while. <laughs> and we have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is strong family affairs, strong family gains, happy endings. Your home, family, white picket fence, your dog, your kids, your happy ending. This is stability, foundation, um, security. With money, time, e efforts, energy, there's overabundance in those categories. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, specifically Virgo energy. Um, I think you're going to push through to get to this, to get to, to get to this. Um, this is going to be, you know, the new goal, the new, um, the new finish line for you. I mean, not that it wasn't before, but I feel like you're going to be pushing through this phase so that you can really get on track with uh, obtain, obtaining this. Some of you could be getting married or moving in together. You're going to be taking a leap of faith. You're going to be taking a risk in the right direction. You're going to be feeling very light and spontaneous and um, creative. This is about a new journey, a new beginning. Um, you're going to be trusting and hopeful in this situation. I think you're going to be stepping out on faith, trusting the universe, putting trust in each other, feeling hopeful in this situation, um, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Um, yeah, I think you're going to take a take one of you or both of you are going to just take a risk like you're going to try to fix this situation because you really want this to work. Let's get a romance angels or some romance angels. Let's see what we got. One more shuffle universe for Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 
What are the messages for Aquarius? Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, I think that's good. We got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. Absolutely. You want to do this. Both of you do. So one of you has to make the move. I feel like it may be the feminine. I feel like it may be the feminine. Whoever this left side is, if, if it resonates with you on this side, I think this is going to be the person to make the first move or make the first gesture. And But I feel like this person, once you do, this per it's going to spark this person to top it. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. If you're letting fears control um, control you, your insecurities, um, your emotions, you are not in control of your life by freeing yourself uh, I mean, freeing yourself from worrying about those things is how you actually take back control of your life and live it to the fullest. Beautiful. I knew this was going to come out. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I knew it. I can feel it. This is a soulmate for sure. Very soon. This is a time that a lot of twin flames are coming into union, according to the readings that I've been watching. So very soon you could be coming together. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You need to decide if you really do want to work on this situation. I think some of you are going to come to the realization that I really do want this. So fuck it. I'm going to just go ahead and make my move. Shoot my shot. I'm going to offer my love. I'm going to offer my gesture to work on this partnership. And this person, I think, is going to take it, process it. It's going to um, help them heal. And then they're going to also come together with you and work on this situation. I love it. This is beautiful. That's your reading, Aquarius. I hope that resonates with you. And if it does, please let me know. Connect with me on Instagram, Instago, all of my social media. Um, outlets are below. If you want to donate to my channel, book a personal reading. That information is down there. Also, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. And until next time, peace, love, and light. Bye.